Well, hello everybody and uh, welcome to this series of events of how to in Spotfire. Today's question is how can we use R through a data function for cleaning some specific data that I already have loaded on my Spotfire DXP file. Okay, so what, it, what is a data function? It's just a set of instructions that we're going to use to execute scripts on a statistical engine. In this specific example, what we're going to do is we're going to load some data and we're going to see how this data has some issues, meaning it's not completely clean and we're going to be able to visualize that through a bar chart. You see that when I change my categorical access to customer ID, I have some customers that have more than one input on the data and this is wrong. So our goal here is to be able to clean this data. So at the end we have just one entrance per customer ID and we're going to use R for this. Okay, so the first step is just to go to Tools and go to Register Data Functions and we're going to use an, the type is going to be R, so we're going to actually use an R script. This is the R script that we're going to use. It's extremely simple. You can tell that the output is going to be defined by two inputs that are coming from my DXP that I already have loaded. Okay, so the first step is to define the type of data and where is it coming, if it is a value or a column or anything else, for the inputs and the variables that are part of the script. So input 1 and input 2 have to be defined. So the first thing is to define input 1. And in this case, it's going to be a column because it's the column that is giving me the first name for the client. And it's going to be a string because we are talking about names here. OK, that's defined. Now we're going to define the second input. That's input 2. And it's a second column. It's also on a string. Now we have input 1 and input 2 defined, we still need to define the output. So the output would be a column that we're going to add to this table that we already have loaded. Okay, so now we have the script and we have defined my inputs and my outputs. Now when we run it, what we have to do is to actually connect the inputs and the output with my specific table data, okay? So in this case, input 1, it's going to be the column that comes from my duplicated examples table and it's going to be my first name, okay? That's input 1. Input 2, it's going to be the column that is located at the duplica duplicated examples table and it's going to be my last name, that's okay. Now my output it's going to be a column that I want to add to my duplicated examples table. Okay. Once I do OK, notice how the engine run extremely fast and it provide a new output option that is giving me false true. I'm just going to color by this new column and you can see now that the trues here are the ones that are um, giving me an extra entrance for my customer ID. So if we remove the trues, we have now clean data. Okay? Okay, thank you so much and I hope...